This video is the first in a series about how to align a track vehicle. In this particular video, we're going to be using hub plates, which are plates that bolt onto the hubs. You're not using the wheels. Uh, the set I use comes from a company called CMS Performance. Uh, they make a nice product, reasonably priced, adjustable, all billet aluminum. Normally I do these alignments on my four post lift, which is level. And that's the main thing. You need to make sure the surface you're on is level. Full-blown race shops use chassis plates. My particular shop has a concrete floor, which when it was poured seven years ago was reasonably level, but they settle over time. So basically what I do is I'm setting up the hub plates at the location where the car is going to rest, and I'm using a laser level. You see that in the foreground. It's basically a device you can get at Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, Amazon, and it uses gravity to level itself. And basically it shines a line on all four hub plates. And you use a ruler, a steel ruler preferably, one that's accurate, to measure the distance that the hub plate is above the floor. They all need to be the same, probably within a sixteenth of an inch. Uh, a quarter of an inch is fine. A sixteenth of an inch is better. Uh, you can see on one of them, I know it's hard to see, but we're going close, that you can see that the line is shining across the ruler, and you go to all four if the blue healer will get out of the way. And basically, if they're off, you can use floor tiles. Now, these are just simple floor tiles you can buy at Home Depot or Lowe's or any other store that sells uh, home building supplies. And basically what I do is I use the tiles to level it so all four corners are level relative to the ground. The reason for that is camber and caster <clears throat> is an angle in relationship to the car. If the car is not sitting level, then what happens is your readings are off. So if a car is tilted one degree to the left or one degree to the right, and you're trying to shoot for a tenth of a degree. So in essence, if you're trying to do something like two degrees negative camber or 2.5 degrees negative camber, and your car is off by a degree, the reading's gonna be off by a degree. Same way with the caster. Caster is based on an angle relative to the car. So the first thing you need to do is make sure the car is level. Many of your normal repair shops, they're hunter racks. They haven't been serviced, they're not level. Uh, I've seen racks as much as off as two or three degrees. Maybe fine for just a normal car alignment when you're not too worried about it. But if you're trying to do a precision car alignment, the ground plane needs to be level. If you don't have a chassis plate, then you can do what I do. I use Racetech squares because uh, they're hard, they're stable, uh, they're flat to basically sit everything on. So this is the initial setup on a chassis plate. I mean, sorry, excuse me, on a hub plate that you're gonna to use to bolt to a car. Uh, we're gonna do several different cars during this series. We're gonna do a McLaren, we're gonna do a Z06 Corvette, and we're gonna do a, a Camaro ZL1 1LE. Uh, some of the cars have ceramic brakes, some have steel brakes, so uh, we're gonna show several different ways to set alignment, do toe, thrust angles. We're gonna use a laser system to do the thrust angles to make sure the, the back wheels and the front wheels are and align it together. So again, first of the video, simply showing you how to set up your floor. If you have a four post lift like I do, they are adjustable and you can level them. This is my four post lift over here with a track Corvette sitting on it. And what you do is once the car is on it, you can actually level your four post lift. It has adjustments on there. You use a standard, I use a long level, a four foot level, and basically level your rack. So normally I would do alignments on this four post rack, but most people don't have them. So I'm setting this up to show you how to do it on the floor of your garage and level everything up. So first in a series, uh, we'll be posting these on YouTube and uh, get back to you soon.